In no uncertain terms, the Genesis GV80 is a huge deal, both for the Genesis brand and for the luxury SUV market as a whole. And now just before a huge Super Bowl advertising campaign, the company brought down an example of the car for us to play with in Miami. Yes, it's at nighttime and it's a dark street corner, but we're gonna take a look anyway, because it's totally worth it. So why is this such a big deal? For starters, it's the first SUV in the Genesis lineup, which is currently made up of three sedans, the G70, the G80, and the G90. And even though the G70 has been widely praised by media, the three cars struggled to create huge sales figures. The GV80 SUV is actually expected to outsell all three sedans combined. Yeah, it's that big of a deal. Though it does share some of its DNA with other products in the Hyundai Kia family, the GV80 is very much its own thing. It rides on a new rear-wheel drive-based platform, which will underpin the next-generation G80 sedan as well. And that's why you get some of the awesome proportions that just make this car look, well, really good. The designers went with a two-lines theme that carries throughout the vehicle. It's obvious in the headlights, the taillights, and even the character lines that run alongside the car. There's some serious presence going on here, starting with the GV80's face. It rocks the new Genesis corporate grille, which is basically a giant shield. And as I just mentioned, these very distinctive headlights, which are broken up into two strips on either side with body coloring that goes in the middle. This is without a doubt the most outlandish design in the class, stacked up against the Mercedes GLE, Audi Q7, and BMW X5 but the Genesis is also the best looking, by far. The side profile, I spy Bentley Bentayga? Yeah, the GV80 most closely represents a car that will be roughly three times its price. Genesis plans to offer 20, 21, and 22 inch wheels on the GV80, the latter of which is a first for the brand. All wheel drive will be available, but in base form, the car sends power to the rear. For the American market, there'll be two gasoline engines available, although we don't yet know the horsepower figures. There'll be a 2.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder and a 3.5 liter twin turbocharged V6. Okay, so inside of the GV80, first of all, this is a whole new look for Genesis, and it starts right here with this 14.5 inch super widescreen display. It's absolutely dominating inside of the cabin, and it really draws all your attention forward in the car. Um, and that interacts with this sort of strange touchpad dial. It looks like it's touchscreen, uh, but there's also this dial that goes around it. The only potentially strange part with that is it's just above the gear selector. There's a drive mode switch over here and that's a different shape, so it's just fine. But these two are the exact same size and they're placed one over the other. So while you're messing with the screen in the middle of driving, you're gonna wanna make sure that you don't use the gear shift selector by accident. The only other thing to complain about is this two-spoke steering wheel. I guess complaining's a little dramatic, but it reminds me of the Mercedes-Benz S-Class from a few years ago. That had a two-spoke steering wheel, and up against the digital dash just like this, it kind of looked like a clown, and it's the exact same thing here. I'm not wild about this design, but again, some people are going to love it. Genesis promises technology like AI navigation and automatic lane changes through the adaptive cruise control system, amongst some more commonplace technology like blind spot monitoring and lane keeping assist. The infotainment system is new for the Genesis brand, so we'll be excited to spend more time with it and really see what works and what doesn't. So just like the front seat, we get a lot of the same stuff in the second row here. It's the same diamond stitching that looks really nice and the color contrasting materials as well. This example of the car actually has like a two-stage panoramic sunroof as well. Um, good amount of legroom. The driver's seat is way back right now when they demoed and brought the car up here, uh, but it's roomy and, and immediately it feels like everything you touch is well built. Genesis had a lot of work to do against the competitors in this class, um, but right away it looks like they did a very good job. Also right behind me there's an optional third row seat and it is power folding as well. Okay, welcome back to the weird dark street corner, but you know what? We make it work. There are still two pieces of information that we don't know anything about with the GV80. Those engines I mentioned earlier, the 2.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder and the 3.5 liter twin turbo V6, we don't know how much power they make just yet. Also the price, we've heard rumors as low as $48,000, but as of now, Genesis hasn't confirmed anything. But if the GV80 SUV can undercut its German rivals, just like the Genesis sedans do on price, there's no reason we shouldn't see the GV80 filling the streets of Miami and just about everywhere else. And based on initial impressions, we're just okay with that.